Hello and welcome to Inspire with Pastor Moses. Today we are exploring a strategy that has saved societies, influenced politics and caused countless conflicts across the world. It is called divide and rule. Have you ever wondered why certain communities, ethnic groups or even nations are constantly in conflict? Well, let's dig into the root of this age-old strategy. Divide and rule is a strategy that has been used throughout history, especially by colonial powers, to maintain control over territories and people and its core. It involves creating or exploiting division between groups, ethnic, religious, or cultural, to weaken unity and prevent unified resistance against authority. But why does this strategy work so effectively? To understand this, we have to look at how cultural differences can be manipulated in many societies. Differences in language, religion, or traditional naturally exist. These differences in themselves aren't a problem. But when they are used to pit people against each other, that's where conflicts begin. Let's take the British Empire, for example. In India, they use divide and rule tactics to maintain control by playing Hindu and Muslim communities against each other. In Africa, colonial powers draw artificial borders, splitting tribes and creating new conflicts by keeping people divided. The ruling power stayed in control while the local population remained distracted by internal conflict. Today we can see remnants of these tactics in various parts of the world. Political leaders, corporations and even media outlets can sometimes exploit cultural or racial tension to advance their own agenda. It is not always obvious. It can come in subtle forms like how certain narratives are formed in the news or how political groups push for identity politics. When people are divided, they are more easily controlled. We have seen this throughout history, from the Roman Empire to modern day politics. And the cost is high. Trust breakdown, cooperation fades, and peace become harder to achieve. So what is the solution? How do we break free from divide and rule trap? The key lies in recognizing that our differences should be celebrated, not exploited. Unity doesn't mean we all have to be the same. In fact, our diversity is our strength. When we stand together, understanding each other cultures and refusing to let fear or hatred drive a wedge between us, we can overcome the tactics of division. At the heart of every cultural conflict is a choice. A choice to either be manipulated by division or to rise above it and seek common ground. So let's choose unity. Let's choose to see each other as brothers and sisters, not as enemy. After all, in the eyes of God, we are all his children. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this message insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Inspire with Pastor Moses. Until next time, let's keep striving for peace and understanding. God bless you.